Hi guys, this is Petra. It's Sunday, November 26, 2023. And in this reading, we're going to do pick a pile for what's coming towards you in love and relationships. So for pile one, we're starting with the Romantic Fairy Oracle deck. And for pile two, we're starting with the Housewives Tarot. But we do have the Romantic Fairy Oracle deck the OCD deck, and the Housewives Tarot in both piles. So, pick a pile, one or two. Okay, so we're going to start with pile one, with the Housewives Tarot first, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Wands. <laughs> and then with the OCD deck, we have See Through, Lay Low, and one of the blank cards that has the Cup, Sword, Pentacle, and Wand. Then from the Romantic Fairy Oracle deck, we have Spirit Soul Path, a personal evolution within your relationship. And we have Soulmate. You have found your romantic counterpart. And we have Memento, a gift from someone special. And we have Self-Love, love yourself first. So let's see what's coming towards you, Pile 1, in love and relationships. For some of you with the nine of wands and the ten of wands, I feel like there's something that you've been struggling with. It's been uh, burdensome, but you are going to let it go. And I'm seeing December. So for a lot of you, you're going to be letting this go in December. I'm also feeling like that's the right time because um, I don't know about you, but <laughs> starting in November, because my birthday is in January, starting in November, I start noticing things changing about me or how I think. And I feel like that's what's happening to you right now. We're at the end of November. But in December, you're going to actually take action and make those changes that you want to make. And for some of you, it feels like it's at work. Now, because we have three wands here, what I was thinking heavily was that you're dealing with a fire sign. A lot of you are dealing with a fire sign. And with the see-through card, this card is telling me that you need to look more closely at this person that you're dating or that you're interested in dating. Um, you need to take things more slowly. And it feels like I'm hearing that song slower from Brandy. It feels like um, you're the one that needs to slow down, not the person that you're interested in. It feels like this is the advice for you, for you to slow down. Um, for some of you, what I mean by that is it feels like you're you're wanting to rush into getting married. For some of you, you want to get married because you want to get out of the house that you're in right now. And um, instead of it being for really being in love with someone and really wanting to support this person... Um, it feels like you're rushing just to just to rush just to get it done so the advice to you is to slow down and it feels like even though it might be um, a fire sign that you're dealing with fire signs are all about action taking action sometimes they take action without even thinking uh, they just do it and then later on they're like uh, should I have done that so it feels like you're you're wanting to go faster than this person, than this fire sign. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, yeah, they, they take quick action, but you're wanting to take quicker action. And I keep feeling this advice to you to slow down, take a look at everything, really take a look at it. I'm seeing the hermit card in my head where the hermit is looking into the lantern with the Merkaba in it. Okay. 
for the lay low card it feels like this is something having to do at work um for some of you you're aspiring to be like a top model in your group in your age group and it feels very uh i'm feeling very good positive feedback like you are going to be the top model in your group it's some kind of competition but it looks like you are going to be the winner i'm focusing on this flag here and it feels very good soaring above the other ones if this is uh, some other type of career you're going to be soaring above the other ones because first of all it feels like you've been there the longest and you've worked the hardest and i i feel like i'm i feel like i'm you coming into work really early always on time rarely taking time off and that's going to be recognized and um that is part of the reason why you are going to be given this promotion in your group So with the blank card in the Oracle card deck, I'm focusing on the crowns. And to me, it feels like someone is up in the air about someone. Someone is confused about something. They're saying, I don't know what to do right now with this predicament. It feels like someone's going to come in and assist you. So I'm focusing on this arm here holding this wand and saying, here, this is going to help you. This is what you need to look into. This is what you need to apply for. And the advice to you is to do it. Apply. Listen to this person that's offering you help. It feels like you don't like accepting help. But in this instance, the advice to you is to take that help. Take that advice. Apply to where your friend is telling you to apply to. Because I see all these crowns right now and it just feels like you don't know what to do. And you're going to mention it to your friend and your friend's going to have the exact, proper, best answer that you need. So that's good that you're actually going to open your mouth and mention this to your friend. Spirit Soul Path says a personal evolution within your relationship. What I'm seeing first and foremost here is you've crossed the threshold. You've actually, how can I say this nicely? Dog barking, sorry. <laughs> how can I say this? You've actually been ultra intimate with this person now. So I'm seeing December again in my head. So it feels like you're going to take the plunge in December. Some of you, I see this in like a honeymoon suite type of room in a hot tub or some kind of tub. Um, but yeah, I, I'm focusing on the, the uh, embrace here and the hands crossing each other. And it just feels like you're going to be very intimate with this person that you've been dating. You're finally going to do it in December. Soulmate, you have found your romantic counterpart. For some of you, I don't know if you can see this little fairy here. But it feels like someone's mother, either your mother or this person that you're dating, that you've been dating, their mother is trying to get the, their son or daughter out of the house. <laughs> so it's like the opposite of the nine of wands and ten of wands where... Some of you um, are wanting to rush things just to get out of your household. But this card see-through is telling you to slow down. This is the, this is the opposite. Um, someone's mom is, is trying to um, get you 
or there or them to go ahead and move, move away, not necessarily to another state, but to move to another house. So one of you is living under the mother's roof at this time. Again, I'm seeing December. Changes are going to start in December. One of you is going to make the decision to move or both of you are going to make the decision to move together. But either way, someone's mother is encouraging it greatly. This person even wants to buy furniture for you and or like dishes, utensils, things like that for you to start you, get you started. This person also is going to ask their relatives to pitch in some money and then your mom or that person's mom is going to take that money and buy you a bunch of things for your house or give you a gift card to one or two big stores so that you all can get the stuff for this new house or this new apartment. So again, I'm seeing December in my head. So you're going to start this, make this decision to move in December. Memento, a gift from someone special. The first thing I saw when I put the card down was you on a date with someone and someone giving you a gift right at the table. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the, the pans, pots and pans here on the wall. And this is probably some kind of appliance back here, like a, a toaster or something. But to me, it looks like a big air fryer. So it feels, it feels again, that you're going to be receiving some of you are going to receive a gift at the table at dinner, but others of you are going to be receiving gifts that have to do with the household. So pots, pans, appliances, air fryer, refrigerator, um, just all kinds of things like this. And I'm seeing December and January for this, this type of gifting of household items. And the reason is because again, here we go again. <laughs> Your, your move, you're moving, you've moved into a, a new apartment. So a lot of things for the house, for the apartment are going to be given to you. You're going to receive a lot of things. I'm seeing 900 in my head, but I don't know why. 900. Zero, zero. Self-love, love yourself first. What I'm thinking here is some of you have never done this before. You've never really cared enough for your skin, especially your face. Maybe you use just regular soap to wash your face all this time. You're actually going to receive some gifts that have to do with moisturization of your face, um, reducing the look of wrinkles, things like that. And you're going to graciously thank whoever gave this to you or whoever gave these things to you, but you're not really looking to using them. But for some of you, I feel that you are going to actually use them and you're actually going to love them. They're going to make your face and skin feel so good. Like this lady here, she's touching her cheek and her shoulder. And she's, to me, what I'm feeling right now is she's thinking, oh my gosh, my skin feels so beautiful. I wish I would have done this a long time ago. Now I understand what my girlfriends were talking about before when they make a fuss over different, different moisturizers or cleansers. And you, you would just kind of shrink during that those kind of conversations. You would just <laughs> clam up. Because you didn't use those things, but now someone's gifted these to you and you are going to use them and you are going to love them. And I see you continuing to use these for the rest of your life. In fact, um, 
I feel like you're going to get compliments in 2024, especially on how young you look, on how firm your skin looks, because there's something that you're going to find out about, do research on uh, between December and January. You're going to find something new to try. And you're going to fall in love with whatever this cream or serum is, especially for your face and neck. And you're going to wish you started like 20 or 30 years ago. But you're going to get started. I, I see that for a lot of you. You are going to get started on this. And this is for those of you that normally just use regular soap to wash your face. Okay, let's get some more cards here. Using the Housewife's Tarot, tell me more for pile one, please. Who's coming towards them in love and relationships? Two more cards, please. So we've got the Three of Pentacles here. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Okay, I see this Leo or Fire sign coming towards you. They really, they really love your work ethic, first of all. Um, they might have earth in their chart. For some of you, it's your boss. So that's going to be kind of tricky there. <laughs> I'm seeing the, the two of pentacles you're juggling. Uh, do I... This person's giving me attention. I'm attracted to this person. They, they, are, they are attracted to me, obviously. Should I even go there? That's what I'm seeing for some of you. Now, for others of you, this Leo or fire sign person is encouraging you to branch out. And this has to do with your career. They want you to branch out. For some of you, it's some kind of artistic, creative endeavor. For some of you, it's sculpting. For some of you, this person is encouraging you to go to school, art school. For some of you, this person is encouraging you to try some supplement like melatonin or something to help you sleep better because you, you're you at a lunch date with this person and you mention that you've been having trouble sleeping and they're telling you, oh, I use this. You should try this. And they're going to send you the picture from Amazon or whatever um, or the name of the product. And it looks like some of you are going to order that product Tell me more about this, please. Okay. Judgment. What I'm seeing here ties into the self-love. This, um, some of you, this person's going to recommend this product to you to firm your skin, not just on your face, but on your body as well. So it's kind of interesting to me and kind of funny that <laughs> this, this pile is talking about products because Christmas is right around the corner. So I think that's funny. Christmas is right around the corner. So you could be getting uh, utensils, dishes, furniture, appliances. Again, I'm seeing an air fryer. Uh, as Christmas gifts. And then whoever this person is that's come to you in different ways um, for you in pile one. I'm get again, I'm feeling a fire sign. I see I see Leo in my head, but it could be um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They're very action oriented. You aren't. Um, but in some respect, some of you want to go fast with something but again i'm hearing that song slower from brandy so you might want to look up the lyrics um to slow down really take a good look at things really look closely at things before you jump in and do it 
Okay, so I hope that helped you, pile one. Now we're going to go on to pile two. Okay, so here we are with pile two. Housewives Tarot, you have Eight of Pentacles, Death, Four of Wands. From the OCD deck, you have the blank card that has a pink background and, and gold lips all over. Kissing lips. You have You Are So Funny. And you have Not A Wise Choice. And from the Romantic Fairy Oracle deck, you have, you are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. And you have real feelings. You share true romantic feelings worth exploring. And you have love language quality time. Be the witness to each other's lives. And you have love language, physical touch. A tender touch means so much. And lastly, you have material attachment. Too much focus on visible trappings. So let's see what's coming for you, pile two, in love and relationships. First, we'll start with the Eight of Pentacles, Death, and Four of Wands. For some of you, I feel like someone's gifting you a big wooden easel. So some of you paint or draw, sketch. For some of you, I'm I'm hearing and seeing the words washed out. And it to me, it feels like some of you feel like you're washed out. And for those of you that feel that way, I'm feeling like you feel that way because of your age. And now I'm focusing on the silver parts of her hair in this card and the makeup. I'm feeling like for some of you, you might be 70 or older and you're feeling like there's no way you're going to find someone to be your lifelong companion for the rest of your life. But I'm also hearing stop that. That's not true. You can always find someone no matter your age, no matter your location. You can always find the best person for you that will make you very happy and that you will make very happy. It does not matter how old you are. I'm seeing the advice to you to go walking, walking at a park or walking at a trail, and you're going to meet somebody new that could be your next person, your next, your lifelong partner. No matter what age, I'm seeing the advice to go walking at a park or trail. For the death card, I see something wonderful wanting to get through to you, but it cannot until you leave something behind. And this feels like a relationship. It feels like you're thinking too much about your ex, and it feels like the advice to you is... You know deep down that it's not going to happen again. You're not going to get back together with this person. And even if you did, it's still not going to be greater than your new person. Your new person is going to be better than this person. It feels like the advice to you is to stop wasting energy and thoughts on your ex-person. You see these rays back here? They're being blocked by this mayonnaise covered in flies. This is your X right here. This mayonnaise covered in flies. And it says everything expires. I see the skull and crossbones here. And even though 
it's not biting down on the roses in my head i saw it biting down on the roses like that's it it's gone this back here wants to come forward but you have to stop putting your energy to this to this x person so that this new person can come in and again i'm being drawn to the eight of pentacles go walking at a park visit a park often visit some trail go walking even if you just if you go with a friend if you don't want to go by yourself because that's going to get your mind off this person and that's going to allow for this new person to come in and with the four of wands it feels like you're going to be very very happy with this new choice that you've decided to say yes to some of you are going to say no but I know some of you are going to say yes. A lot of you are going to say yes. And you're going to be very pleased with this person. Very pleased with this decision. And years from now, you're going to look back and say, I am so glad that I opened myself up to dating this new person. To getting to know this person more. Because look at where I am now. I love my house. I love my pets. I love my child or my children, if you have children. Um with this person i'm so happy i'm so satisfied so the card with the gold lips from the ocd deck for some of you i see you building creating designing a beautiful beautiful garden for yourself for some of you i see these big patches of dirt in your front yard you have a big front yard and in december and january you're going to start breaking up that soil so that by february and march you can start planting all sorts of things all over your dirt patches in especially in your front yard for some of you it feels like you're getting unwanted attention at work You're starting to get unwanted attention at work. It could be from someone that just started working there at your in your department. Excuse me. And I'm seeing December and January for this. So I'll need to get another card on this one. Tell me more about this predicament here, please. Tell me more about this situation at work where you're getting unwanted attention. Tell me more about that, please. One card at a time, please. Thank you. Judgment. One more, please. Okay, it feels like it's causing a lot of uh, anxiety for you. You don't want to tell anyone right now. <sighs> Judgment, Ace of Pentacles. Two of Wands, Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah. Uh, here with the judgment. You don't want to tell anyone what's going on. You don't want to tell anyone that this person is giving you unwanted attention. Two of Wands, you're stuck. Feels like you're not going to get out of this stuckness until January or February where you actually take action and do something about this unwanted attention from someone at work. The Queen of Swords makes me feel like finally some months down the road you are going to say something and this person's going to be reprimanded or removed from that department and with the ace of pentacles it feels like the ace of swords where you have a victory a success um, successful outcome in this situation because you decided to open your mouth but like i said it's going to be it's going to take some time it's going to take a few months for you to get over this, this anxiety of, should I, should I do this? Should I say something? But you, for some of you or a lot of you, you are going to do it finally. And you're going to have a very positive outcome with that. So from the OCD deck, we have, you are so funny. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of 
like a circus. So I don't even know when circuses go through towns, but I'm getting a circusy vibe right now from this card. And for some of you, I feel like you're going to go somewhere, maybe a camera stopped. So maybe a flea market or festival setting, and you're going to go see a psychic or a tarot reading sign there. And you're actually going to go and get a reading, even if in the past you never believed in utilizing psychic individuals. And for the not a wise choice card, what I was feeling is that a relative is going to be bugging you and saying some hurtful things about you. But the advice to you is to be as diplomatic as possible and uh, tell the person that you appreciate their concern and that you'll take it into account in the future. But in actuality, the advice to you is not to listen to that person. They're so negative and they don't even like you. They pretend to care about you. Okay, so now <clears throat> we have you are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. When I first pulled this card, I was really drawn to the red. And the red reminds me of Christmas time. So it feels like you're going to be at a Christmas party or some kind of get together um, in December where someone, a relative, might make you feel mm, inferior. And the advice to you just like, just like before. I appreciate your concern, person, relative, whatever. I'll take into account what you're saying. Thank you. Thank you for caring about me. Um, next, move on. Get out of that person's area. Go to somebody else in the, in the party, at the party. Just get away from that person because I'm feeling some negative vibes, vibes coming at you from this person they don't they don't really care about you they don't it, it does feel like a relative okay so we have real feelings you share true romantic feelings worth exploring i'm immediately drawn to the hand grabbing the hair some of you are going to meet someone in december or january that has long beautiful hair long dark hair for some of you this is going to be a fire sign leo aries sagittarius and you're going to be you're going to be taken aback by this person you're going to be very attracted to this person and you're going to talk to them about their hair like you might make a comment just to start a conversation about their hair and they're just going to open up to you completely because they are also attracted to you so it feels like you're going to hit it off with someone that has long hair in uh December or January. Love language, quality time. Be the witness to each other's lives. For some of you, this is reminding me of some of you giving birth in December. Um, you might have an aunt who's going to spend a lot of money on gifts for you, for your baby. And I see you with your significant other uh, rejoicing at the hospital right after you've given birth to your child. And I also see another feminine figure wanting to sage your, your house before your baby, before you bring your baby home. Wanting to cleanse your house in some way with this card. Then we have love language, physical touch. A tender touch means so much. For some of you, it feels like you're going to start holding hands with someone. You're friends with someone. Okay. You all like each other, but you don't know how much you each like each other. And I see you walking at a park and starting to hold hands at this park. And then it just feels, feels good. And that's kind of the, the cue to each of you that, yes, you all do like each other more than just friends. And so I feel like a romantic relationship blossoming from this 
park walk or trail walk or outdoors hiking walk where what starts it off is both of you deciding to hold hands. I can't tell who initiates it, but I just see both of you holding hands and feeling very good, very warm inside, very happy, thinking, yes, this person does like me. This person is interested in me in a romantic way. So for some of you, you're unsure if the person that you're interested in likes you in a romantic way or they just want to continue to be friends with you. So it's a friend first, which is good. But December, January, you're going to start transitioning to a romantic relationship with this person. Again, I'm seeing the hair, long hair, dark hair, maybe. And then we have material attachment. Too much focus on visible trappings. When I first pulled this card, I was thinking of earth signs because they're more about material things, practical things. But it doesn't feel negative, even though this card may sound and look negative. It doesn't feel that way here. It feels like both of you could be like a power couple and you're building or buying a new house. You're moving into a brand new house. I'm seeing 400,000 and up for the cost of the house. I'm seeing two or three story house, a light colored, white, white colored house on the outside. Um, rose gardens, bright colored furniture. And I'm seeing you very happy together. And it feels like, it feels like both of you have been through a lot of hardships for many, many years. It feels like for some of you, it feels like you've been married for several years with this card. And you're finally able to buy this big, beautiful house. And you feel like a big weight has been taken off your shoulders because you're thinking yes we finally got we finally got what we've been one of the biggest things most expensive things we've been wanting to get we finally got it we finally found the perfect house and now we're moving into this house in December and January and you're very happy I, I see some of you making some kind of altar in your house to pray and uh, to be grateful and at this altar, I see you with uh, photographs of your of your um, grandparents. I'm hearing maternal, but could be maternal or paternal grandparents, um, and other other old pictures you're putting on this altar. And this altar could be at the end of a long hall in your house, and then it has some uh, some delicate lighting around it and some candles. And I feel like there's a, a little uh, bench there or stool. And you go there often to pray and to speak to your relatives whenever you want to ask for assistance, ask for help with anything. And so that that also makes this house very special to you because now you have a, a perfect spot for an altar. Okay, let's get some more cards here. Tell me more about love and relationships for pile two. Who's coming? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. One more, please. Virgo. Capricorn. Taurus. Temperance. Okay. So for the Nine of Pentacles, I'm feeling this material attachment vibe again. It's like, okay, I got what I wanted. I've been wanting this for a long time. Um, this is for a single person. I've been wanting this for a long time. I've been working so hard for so long. Finally, I get my just desserts. That's what I just heard. Finally, it's come to me what I've wanted something very that makes you very happy has come to you you've been able to purchase it now so it's some kind of purchase property estate something something big and you've earned it is what i just heard knight of pentacles and temperance 
I feel like a new person is going to come into your life. A young person. They could be around 30. 30 or late 20s. Is going to come into your life. And they're going to help you. With different things. Around your house. Your yard. Your pool. So again this ties in with this. With this house. This house that you just bought. Or you just moved into. Um, someone's going to pop up. Make themselves known to you. Their late 20s or early 30s offering their services to you. So what I'm feeling here is, of course, check the references. But it feels like this new person that comes into your life to help you around the house is going to be a godsend for you. That's what I just heard. So someone new. <laughs> someone new coming in to help you. Okay, Temperance from the Housewives Tarot deck. Okay, I don't know if you can see this on the card, but there's a bunch of choices here, a bunch of options that you can set the dial to on this mixer. And it feels like you have a plethora of options when it comes to finding the right person for you. So with this card, I'm feeling like you have a lot of suitors available to you. But again, I'm being drawn to the death card. You have to give up thinking about this ex person. None of these people, none of all these options are going to be like that ex person. Do not compare these new ones to that one. Do not. Um, these are brand new people coming into your life. If you allow it, if you ask for it, if you pray for it, if you want it, do you want it? Do you want these options to come in? If you do say yes. There's a lot of options here. They can bring all types of emotions to you. They can help you in so many ways. They can affect you in so many ways. They can bring up all kinds of emotions over time. Over time, you're going to stick with the ones that, that you get along with the best. That you're mostly in a positive state with. So I feel like first you're going to have tons of options but you're going to filter down over time and you're going to keep the really good ones is the way i heard it phrased you're gonna you're gonna figure out over time who are the really good ones that i want to keep in my life and again i'm being drawn to this knight of pentacles this person coming into your life wants to help you they want to make some money they want to help you they know how to do all kinds of things that's one of these good ones now, this, one, this Knight of Pentacles is not necessarily someone who wants to date you. They want to help you. But with the Temperance card, I feel a bunch of these options that want to date you. So I feel like you have an, a lot of new options coming in, or they could come in. But you have to stop thinking about this ex person. This, 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 is, this is expired already. See the tomato? All old, inedible, it's expired. You want a jar of mayonnaise with flies all over it? Or do you want some fresh new batter that's being whipped up for you? That's up to you. So, that's it for pile two. I hope that this video helped you. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I want you to be happy. And I want you to have an awesome day. Thank you.